using an external device like a keyboard or some sort of controller to control Fruity Loops is, is a little bit different to other um, doors in that um, with, with some plugins that I don't have one here available, you might right click on it and go MIDI, MIDI learn and twiddle your knob and it'll, it'll start to activate that. But in Fruity Loops, um, if you want to control a knob, say the granulizer one here, we want to control the attack, we can go link to controller and we move our knob and obviously we get control. Looking at another granulizer, it's not affecting that, but if we move this up full and look at our other granulizer and move the knob right down to the bottom, um, we can see it's down to the bottom again. So that's creating a local or a temporary link. It's local to your song file. So if I was to load up another, another song, uh, obviously this link will not be there, but it'll have its own set of links, which is really useful. I mean, if I'm clicking anywhere or the focus is anywhere else, I know that um, I know that my I'll still be able to control that. But uh, another very useful feature of Fruity Loops, I think, is overlooked by a lot of producers, or it's it's just not not known about is um, this um, override generic link. So if we reset all the controllers here and reset the device, and we create an override generic link and twiddle the knob. So I can move this up fully and then look at this other granulizer. And I haven't set any uh, connections here, but I can move the same knob and get control. So the second granulizer, uh, it's on nothing. The first one has not been changed. But now that this one's in focus, I can control it and move that down to, say, halfway. And then we look back at granulizer two. It's still at nothing, but moving the same knob, I've got control again. So I could set up uh, each one of these four knobs to four knobs on my controller that I normally have set up. And depending on which one I've got in focus, which, which one I've got selected, it will control the same knobs, but only only on the one that I've got selected. So they're, they're very useful for having a, a generic control over a, any sort of plugin um, where you want the one controller to always control the same thing. Sometimes there can be issues with with uh, the controllers when you've linked a lot and it gets a bit messy and you need to sort of reset everything. One way is to, of course, reset and then twiddling knob, obviously the, the, the messages are unhandled there, but sometimes that doesn't work. So if we um, create that link again, to clear everything, we need to find the, find the appropriate file. So we find image line, uh, fruity, system, config, mapping, generic and we'll see the granulizer then we can just remove remove that close fruity down and remove that and that'll uh, clear up all the mappings again